guys, this is another front and not less braid. So, you know, I promise in my former video, my previous one, that I'm going to show you another one in detail. So, guys, make sure you watch from start to finish because in this video, I did everything I'm meant to do. So, make sure you stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm sure you watch from beginning to the end. I'll be right back. So yeah, welcome back to my channel. This is Epony Star. For my returning subscribers, you're welcome. And for my new new subscribers, you're welcome also. So in this video, I'm going to show you in details how I made that frontal not less braid. So now I'm using a dome cap and a full frontal net. And this net is four by four by eight. Yes. So I just did some. I am. Um, where I bought this net, they've already done this um, frontal line for me, like the front line already for me. You, you see it in this video, like it's really showing. So it's already there. I'll just trace it up and I will go ahead and do my demarcation where my coop boxes. I'm going to just read straight, straight up. So I'll try to understand what I'm trying to do it now. The length here is six inches, so I'll be marking out one inches. Yes, I want it to be one inch. The breadth will be one. The length two will be one inches. So this is it. So one for the breadth, one for the for the length. Sorry. So I'm just going to join it together with this. Um, I'm very sorry. This two. Yeah, this video will be a quick one so if you don't understand well i'm just going to drop by another link in my description box for you can watch the former one i've done so just make sure you watch from the video and um, trust me you understand this trust me because i've told you my former video my previous video that i'm just going to make this one right so that you know in, in the previous one the pre previous video i didn't get this nines yes so that's why i actually want to demarcate the lines before i join the net to the cap so that it will be very easy because that one the line i demarcated was not even working for me when i was ventilating so now i'm just going straight to mark it like this don't forget i fold this net into two equal parts yes and i pin it with a pin i pin it down with a pin i hold it with the safety pin before i start drawing and the length i said is one inch and the breadth is one inch so i'll just measure it i think you are following the measurement right from the start uh -huh. so the first line is six scoops the second line is six scoop the third line is five scoop the fourth line is five coops and the next one is four coop and the last line is three coops three cups three cups so making 58 coop coops yes <laughs> i want to say 58 coops <laughs> making 58 coops so so you can make your own smaller you can make your own bigger you can make your own the same size and trust me guys it's just sweet it's beautiful it's looking kinky so <laughs> make sure you watch from beginning to end i've said and you're welcome for my returning subscribers i've said the day yeah i'll be i'm not even sure you're welcome and for my new subscribers you my guys are welcome i really appreciate you guys so make sure you like go oh, please like so liking is telling the algorithm that you love this video that you share it to another person so make sure you like and now i'm just going to oh wow so quick so the, the, the thing i did there is that i the other part you know is actually going to show the other part now i fold it into two so i just draw those lines like i think you understand and the middle line i just went ahead and give it um a demarcation so all right guys i'm just going to attach this attach attach this net to the dome cap using a sewing machine you know i always go for sewing machine so that's it guys so i've sewn it down with the sewing machine and those green straight to cut it with the scissors with my green scissors as, as usual so cut it and make sure when you are cutting it doesn't touch the um brown net like the lace net and when you are cutting cut it a little bit far from the place you sew like not too far like just small space so that you won't cut it 
you won't cut the the place you sew. So let me let me go down for you guys. Yeah. So you won't, you won't cut the place you sew. You won't cut the place you sew. So now, guys, now I've cut it down. I've cut it down, guys. So look at that. It's looking the drum cap and the lace net. So now, yeah, guys, I've already like how should I put it? All the coops I have demarcated, I demarcated. Actually, this thing I drew at the first time, it really works this time around. Yes, it does work this time around. So now I ventilate the coop shapes, like the coop sizes, and then I'll go ahead and ventilate inside those coops. So ventilating inside those coops, I use, um, I left two lines for a line, three lines, three lines for a line. Yes, that's what I did. And then I'll go straight down start breathing yeah yeah i've braided almost all like all the backs all the back side of braid them and i'm using three packs of attachments a lush attachment to be precise a lush attachment as you share so you know the way we do these things when i don't know actually you still gotta get it so i used three pack of that i didn't even finish it because this braid is short it's not really long so i used two and a half yes just let me say two and a half pack because the customer said she wants it short not long so now i use this ventilating yeah ventilating pin i call it a ventilating pin i just use this uh crochet pin to draw the air in between the um front and head and the dome cap and that's what i did for the back i use this pin to draw attachments inside the cap and then before braiding it so now I've, um this part this sewing part so make sure you cover it up with um braids make sure you sew it and make sure you cover it up with braids so the line will not be showing and when you have um when you are braiding this frontal side the one that goes to the back side make it for at the back side so that it, it will be covering all those lines again i think you get what i'm saying because i don't even know how to explain that part again i mean those side like this front that side those air going to the back side just make sure you break it uh, braid it to the back side so that it will cover those lines those um black woods like the place you sewed so that it's going to cover it up you know as you try the way you braid Mm, the hair there that you inserted represents a hair on somebody's head and then you keep on attaching attachments if you want it bigger you make it bigger if you want it smaller make it small if you want it long make it long if you want it short make it short so now just see the process i cross it over i added attachments and then i keep beginning to spread it out Oh God, my English is sweeter by the day. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh God, <laughs> they are father. The father's father. Just make sure you watch this thing to the end, though, so that you are going to see, um, see the outcome. Actually, you see the outcome at the beginning of this video. Yeah, you're still going to see the outcome. And now this video, I showed how I pour hot water because some people are already asking me. People um, ask me in my comment sections, like most of my video that. How am I going to add your body or hot water? How do you add hot water? So in this video, I show it because I've never showed it before how I added hot water. I don't remember I've showed it before, but I don't think I have. But this video, I did show it the way about the water. So guys, braiding the um, front side, this I did it. You know, I've inserted those air before, like um. The air is something at the front side, so you are going to braid it hard attachment just the same way you did the back side. So, guys, you braid it and make sure you are picking all the airs like all the coop airs, all the air in the coops. Make sure you braid them, you braid it, braid it to your size, to your length, to your shape any how you want it so just keep reading guys and don't forget to like my video please now i like a video of me i like a video of me or oh, i enjoy that my double <laughs>
to like my video share like subscribe i need to subscribe us because i'll be giving you guys eats yeah i'll be giving you eats oh no look at the bread man no what's what i have to look at the bread oh this is when i've done the braiding i've finished the braiding and now i'm just going straight to insert the baby hairs no trim i went tired and trim yes i did trim me so i told you this video will be details because i don't let show this part so this video i showed everything i did so that i'll just go ahead and trim 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 and this trim i took my time because i want it i want it to, to be neat so i took my time so this is when i ventilate the baby hair i use an attachment yeah so i went down i pulled the band the band is eight inch and this paints too and then i went ahead i pulled my hot water mm -mm 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 -mm. so you see the way i poured the water is from the tip from the top to the butter so you guys are using styles to see my my my, my bedroom i be no while i shall put the air from the top to the bottom yeah you can see so i pour it from the top to the tip of the hair and yeah we well, will see see it's giving this bread is giving what it should give it is giving what a shoe gave no spray no hoy nothing but you can go ahead and add whatever you want so guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i love you guys you're welcome and if you want me to do this break for you i will already say it because i want money come to my comment section i'll drop my whatsapp line there for you guys message me i will do it for you <laughs> i don't know what, what's going on this morning <laughs> Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.